Okay, hello guys. Um, as you can see, I'm on my home screen, and just so you know, I want to show you how you can edit yourself your own montage in Gorilla Tag. My my montages have been blowing up recently for my um growth and channel size, so I thought, why don't I make a tutorial? Because people like my editing style. So the first thing what you're gonna need is CapCut. Um, I got it right here. I got all of my I got all of my projects on here, and the way you're going to download it is you're going to go to the Microsoft Store and you're going to Google CapCut. And once CapCut is here, just download the app. I've already had it. And once you got it, click on your CapCut and open it and click on a new project. Now I can close this for a second and we're going to talk about what you need in Gorilla Tag. So if you're on Gorilla Tag, my tip is uh, you should go on a PC because the reason why on PC you can get cool clips. So now I'm also going to show you how you can get the mods like um, Yeezy's camera mod, what I always use. So this is how you're going to do it. You're going to go here, type in monkey mod manager. Go on it. You can also type it in here and uh, go on the link. So I got it. Um, I'm going to put this um, or a, in the link in the description and download this. Just click on there. I've already downloaded it. So open monkey mod manager on your PC. If, if you can't find this Gorilla Tag, you got to go to your Gorilla Tag file. So, open Steam, get Gorilla Tag, right-click on it, manage, browse local files. Click uh, click on this, go control C, close everything, and type in here control V. So, this is going to be our link right here. And uh, click on Gorilla Tag and press open. And click on Beppler Next and install an update. Here you can get everything what you want, there are a lot of mods and stuff, but this is how you're going to do it. Go on Beppelin X folder, click on plugins, and uh, as you can see, use this camera mod. This is one I'm going to have in my Discord. So once you opened up Discord, go to my um, uh, Discord thing, click on mods, and download this. It's, it's definitely not a virus. These are two mod menus, just take... Um, the mod that you have from your downloads folder. Let's say you've downloaded this, and now you could just take Easy's camera mod, go bada bing bada boom, move it to plugins, and you can open up Gorilla Tag. And right next to where you spawn, you should see a um, banana monkey holder thing. And I'm going to show you um, the settings. So the settings is zero. Um, the near clip they will right find under the weird thingy um, is. 0.6000001 and then your FOV I'm going to put on 90 and the smoothness to 0.11 then click on first person and then you should have uh, then you should have your gorilla tag um, mod and close everything that pops up on your screen so when you record on OBS I'm also going to have a link for OBS in the description you're just going to download OBS and now once once you have this here, click on start recording. So I mean, when you want to create something, just click on plus and put on display capture, click on OK. And then you should have this, adjust this however you want. And now you can click on the minus to um, close OBS like this. But I'm keeping it on my second screen. Now you can just play Gorilla Tag, record. And now I'm going to show you how you can do Gorilla Tag montage stuff. So also link in the description is going to be this called cobalt.tools. This is where you're going to download all of your audio. So go on YouTube, search for a song. So you're basically going to just copy this link, control C, close this, control V, click on there, and then you should have your download stuff here. So now let's finally open CapCut. Once you've obviously already opened your stuff, you can open your Windows X. Go on your downloads and get your song. I'm going to get my song that I got. This is the wrong song. Have I even downloaded it? So now if you got your audio, you can kind of like uh, just drag this up until it's like at the red mark. I mean, you got your song and now you're next. You're going to get your footage. You should have it under videos. And it should be your latest one. So this is how you're gonna clips are uh, gonna look like. It's just a uh, raw footage, so I'm not gonna expect too much. So now drag it in and put get your footage, and this is where your um Yeezy's camera mod should be. 
what you can also do is you can click on this modify right here if you don't have anything selected click on modify and then put this on 60 frames now your preview should look much cleaner than before so basically what you're gonna pick is once you're untagged so once you're really not tagged you're basically just going to do what i'm gonna do um so cut out anything where you're not tagged and get some footage what you like so this is maybe i must say this is a good part and now we can cut it by pressing ctrl and b with this little thing ctrl b click on it click the backspace and you should have it now you can get down the volume and i should have this and now we're going to make that we have like a cool interest so basically we're going to search an effect you're going to click on opening and then drag this horizon thing on and you're going to see this. This looks very clean, but I have the feeling it's too long, so get this out of the way. This is what we get. Something hella clean. Maybe not that much. And what you can do is now, now it's all preparation. You can do whatever you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my song. So what I really want to do here is nothing too complicated. I just want to make that, as you can see. So what I want, once this opening is nice... Now we can add like big effects. So let's go on effect. And we can just, what we can also do, we can get all of this weird stuff. But what I like to go is now, what I'm going to do to make it a bit cool, I'm going to go on the adjustment and drag in this called custom adjustment. Find the drop. Let's say here's good. And now we can zoom out and drag this adjustment up until here. And now click on this color adjustment and now you can do whatever you want. You can even add your custom, custom files, but we're not going to look at that. Now we can change a lot of stuff. So we can make the saturation this gray. But the problem is, is I want now that my hand is basically not this ugly gray. Is That's where we can change a lot of stuff. So we can get the exposure. Um can play with every anything what you want what you can also add is you can add these sharpen you can add these clarity you can add these particles i don't know for what you would need these ugly particles but you can really add anything what you want so i'm gonna do this i'll just get it a bit darker and we can add like the sharpen let's add a little bit of we don't need the sharpen we can remove, we can kind of get the white up to 20. So what I want to do is I have the feeling that after my color adjustment, um, I can take this and clip this and get another um, part of my hella long clip. So, so I have the feeling that I just want this uh, clip. Let's say this clip and now we can shoot, we can change this clip. So cut up wherever you want and we cut it here to like change it up. So what you can do is now you can um, try, you can click on transition and now you can choose any transition that you want. Mm, one of my favorite one is whoosh. It's pretty cool. So let's drag it into here. I must say we can trim this because it gets a little bit boring. So I remember when I recorded this, I was like still today, somewhere at the end near the end i got a slip slap okay i want to get this i would say so let's drag this into here so i got a kind of slip slap what we can do is we can just can of get where where i slip slap so what you could do is you can use your arrow keys to um click a frame so exactly where we hit we can do this i hit around here let's what we can do is we can cut this and at the beginning either you can go on animation choose your animation or you can get like a pull out this would be one and if nothing doesn't if you don't like any one of these that you got here you can click on the clip that you want click on animation and we can use this this is always the classic one and what we're now gonna add is we're gonna add this called uh, the black uh, flash it's called the black flash 2 we're gonna take this put it the whole clip and wait let me in it 
enable this so it clips so we could take this and put and adjust this anyway i don't want this to f so once we got this my black flash you can go we got this and here what we can do is like bam and we got this nice flicker i think this is pretty cool the next thing what we can do is we can just continue to edit find good clips i'd say this is good and my tip is um add a transition directly because we maybe need this transition i mess up here so we're gonna cut it here so what i'm now gonna add i'm gonna add a glow yay so we're gonna add this edge glow because this is a pretty good glow now we're gonna take this and we're gonna get the effects as long as the videos goes about here So I think I'm going to take this and directly after the black flash, I'm going to take this. I think cause this is a pretty good one. I think I'm going to take it here. So here I juke this guy. So basically we're going to use our pointer to um, absolutely um, get a clip of him. So once you got this, going to take this and wait until um, the blind is gone. Hold shift, windows and S. And now you can just get the whole screen now you got a screenshot you're gonna go on your windows explorer and uh, open screenshots it should be under pictures and screenshots get your screenshot and now paste it in so now we're gonna take this and we're gonna not make it too long and the same we're gonna go on cobalt doll tools get our sound effect it's the um camera thing so it's called camera shutter sound effect and we're gonna get this because we absolutely juked him gonna trim this and once we got this do this and now and now we got to make this smaller by just clicking on it and then doing this and now we can make this maybe bigger now we got to add effects and gonna add a um we're gonna add a combo i think that's a good one so just so you know we're not gonna add any of this so animation none combo the whole so once we got this as you can see he got absolutely juked but here i can trim and delete all of this all of our footage now trim the rest off what we don't need and now we're gonna go on here i get this in here and default text i can say subscribe make this smaller and i'm gonna take my um ts block here we can actually click on this animation fade out but first before i do that i'm gonna add some transitions not so once you got all of it now we're gonna add the final step motion blur this might take some time if you don't have a good pc like me ha 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 by the way i'm i'm gonna put my specs up on my on the on the screen if you want the same as me i just do play gorilla tag and everything else so now you're gonna click on one and you're gonna click on motion blur and if you click on it it should then process and now you can change the blur i'm gonna change the blur to 50. it might take some time so you have to do this for every clip you have to change it to 50. As you can see, it's not the fastest, but it gets the job done, seriously. So now we're just going to wait until everything has worked. Ha 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 ha. So while the motion blur is applying, we can try to now get um, a image for a thumbnail. I'm going to choose this one right here. I'm going to choose this exact frame. Maybe um, choose the brightest frame. So for this, we can um, remove the black flash for the thumbnail. Now we can do a screenshot. Now can click Control Z, so we got the flicker again. And once we got that, we're gonna open the website called Canva.com. Log in, go to Design YouTube thumbnail, find your screenshots, get your screenshot, copy it in, and put it at the end put it at this and i'm gonna add a border gonna add a black border 
and now we're gonna go on text gonna add a heading we're gonna put in um want me now we can add a lie letter spacing let's say 52 maybe we could add more now i'm gonna use horizon this is a free text I'm gonna go on text colors and maybe use this um green one now if we go on effects we can choose whatever we want the problem is with hollow ones is mostly you don't really see it when you click on the video so you can either have it hollow or you can use the splice these outline is also pretty cool but i'm gonna use this hollow because we got a dark background so that means it blends in well now we're gonna go on a curve maybe curve it like this get this want me right here clip it into the middle and you got your thumbnail what i also like to do is um, edit the photo by clicking on the photo and then continuing to go there and clicking on autofocus this might create a line but that's just for the image stuff it's just adding a blur maybe you don't even want this maybe i don't want such an intense with blur i'm just gonna add a very light blur and once you got this click on share download and we have to wait and now we can click on download now we're gonna click on export and because we use the CapCut integrated effect I'm going to click on 2K and keep it on 60 frames and click on here. Now I have to wait until it gets exported. So open CapCut, click on open folder, click on this video thing, drag your video in. And I'm going to get the title. I'm going to copy this in and I'm going to go want me for there. You can copy this and I'll put it on your color code 3.5 zero i think go to your downloads folder and get the thumbnail look that it's not over two megabytes because that would be very stupid click on no on this and this is just everything we want to do follow the steps and now you can upload okay i actually forgot to do the title my tip is you can also add an emoji to make it more like cool you know Save anything what you want and you should have your video. That what is the, the, that was it with my video. Um hopefully you enjoy and I will upload the video once I've uploaded this video. I mean the montage once I've uploaded this video right now that I'm recording, I'm gonna upload the montage. Bye bye and here's the final result. Yo ass been talking, can't wait till we find you I stick to your hoe just like she's some fine glue No King Von, but nigga she mine too